Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we shall proceed to section B, where you find SHA questions. So it says that answer any three questions from this section. All answers must be complete, complete sentences and in paragraphs. So they are saying that answer uh, any three questions. You can only, you know, uh, apply this to when you're in the exam room. Otherwise, we are going to answer everything. Yeah, we don't care about following uh, uh, three questions whatsoever. We are going to answer all the five questions. Anyways, that was just a joke. Let us continue with question one. So, um, question one A, describe the two types of tissue respiration. Describe the two, type, two types of tissue respiration. Before you describe, you need to know what tissue respiration is because you cannot start describing when you know nothing about tissue respiration. So what is tissue respiration? You can say that tissue respiration is the metabolic process by which living cells absorb oxygen and release carbon dioxide. It is also called internal respiration. Yeah, because tissue respiration occurs at the cellular level and involves enzymatic reaction that produces ATP. We all know what ATP is, yeah, whatsoever. We can just move on uh, now to our question. Because now we have understood what tissue respiration is. So now are uh, the two types of tissue respiration, um, aerobic and anaerobic respiration. So we have aerobic. Let me try to, to write it. Aerobic. This is A. This is E. Yeah, it's difficult to use this thing. Then R, uh, anyway, I'll just spell it. It's A, let me erase this. Yeah, I said that there is aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration is A, E, R, O, B, I, C, and anaerobic is A, N, a E R B I C aerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. Yeah, I'll say that. Then aerobic respiration, it uses glucose and oxygen. Aerobic uses glucose and oxygen, while anaerobic respiration uses only glucose but not oxygen. Yeah, that's for the first part. Then part B. What are the adverse effects of cigarette smoke on the health of human beings? What are the effects of cigarettes in short? So cigarettes and uh, cigarette smoking harm um, nearly nearly every organ and organ system in the body. And you know it uh, diminishes a person's overall health. Smoking causes uh, cancer. <clears throat> of uh, various organs such as the lung, esophagus, the mouth, throat, um, bladder, liver, pancreas, stomach, cervix, colon, and also it causes leukemia. I don't know if you watched the video in uh, Roman Reigns uh, was being treated because he had leukemia, but it's over now. I'm not saying that he was smoking a lot. Yeah, I don't know what happened with him, but yeah, that's what you know smoking cigarette does. Yeah, and it also causes causes leukemia. Uh, smoking also causes or worsens other diseases such as heart disease. It worsens it, or it or it can or it can cause it. Then stroke, uh, diabetes, uh, pneumonia, TB, to blood tuberculosis and other infections. Smoking also increases inflammation and impairs immune function. Uh, smoking exposure contributes to deaths among non-smokers, especially infants. Um, a non-smoker and a smoker, they can be working to, together. A non-smoker 
might be saying that, ah, me, I don't smoke. Well, the smoker is busy smoking. The non-smoker is also smoking without him knowing that he's smoking. Because what's happening there, he is passive smoking. He doesn't know that he's smoking. Yeah, oh, okay. That's that. Then um, it can also cause yeah, death when a smoker is smoking and there's an infant busy inhaling that, you know, smoke. Uh, the infant can, can die. Yeah. That's that for part, part one. Yeah, but for part one, we can go to part two. Part two, so this one we are done. We are done with this one. Part two, describe the process of excretion in human being. Before you describe this one, so you need to know what excretion is. So excretion is the process where all the metabolic waste are removed from the body. In human, excretion is carried through different body parts and internal organs in a series of processes. The liver, skin, lungs, large intestine, and kidneys are the excretory organs in the human body. Now let's talk about uh, yeah, how the process of excretion in human being, yeah. Um, the process of excretion system yeah, in human beings is to remove or the excretion system removes waste products such as carbon dioxide, urea, ammonia, uric acid, the kidneys and the main organ. Sorry, I've said that the... Oh, oh yeah, I've already talked about the uric acid. Yeah, yeah. And the kidneys are the main organ involved in excretion in humans. Um, and they perform the process in three steps. Number one, there's filtration, reabsorption, and secretion. The liver also plays a role in excretion by breaking down toxins and producing bowel, which is then stored in the gout bladder before being released into the small intestine. The skin excretes weight which contains water and uh, salt. Yeah, that's, that's that for part A, then part B. Describe the role. Describe the role. The role of the kidney in maintaining the balance of water and salt ions in the body. So the kidney maintains the water salt balance in the body by selectively reabsorbing useful materials such as uh, glucose, salt ions, and water from the bloodstream, which is filtered at high pressure. The kidney produces urine, which helps maintain water balance. The kidney conserves or releases water by balancing levels of sodium and potassium and the uh, Waste products. There is um, a unit of L of the kidney called what's this? Called um, the nephron. The, the nephron reabsorbs as much water as it, as as it is needed by the body to maintain the water balance. This keeps the blood plasma at the correct concentration to avoid water entering or leaving cells and causing damage by osmosis. The nephron controls water by the movement of sodium chloride in and out of the filtrate, and the water will follow sodium depending on the osmotic gradient. You know, water will move from where there is a lesser concentration of sodium chloride to where there is a higher concentration of sodium chloride. So that's it for um, one and two. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe, invite friends, um, see you in, in another video for question three, four, and five.